Hello everyone, welcome to another game between Stockfish as white and Alpha Zero as black. And we have a Joko piano here, and Knight to G5 by Stockfish, the fried liver attack, immediately pinpointing this weak pawn on F7 at the cost of development. D5, he takes D5, Knight A5. If Knight takes d5, which is a very natural move, Knight takes f7 is quite good, because after King takes f7, Queen to f3 check. This is a fork on the King and the Knight, so King e6 is forced, but this is just unpleasant for black. The King's in the centre, and the Knight's pinned. Uh, this is quite good for white, despite being down a piece. So after e takes d5, Knight to a5, Bishop b5 check, c6, d takes c6, b takes c6, bishop d3, knight to d5. So, in this opening, white has won a pawn, but in return, black has a nice uh, foothold in the center with this pawn on e5, and a small lead in development. This knight on d5 is quite good here. It could jump to b4 or f4. And after knight d5, the queen attacks the knight, so black gains a tempo. Knight f3, bishop d6, castles, knight f4, strong post for the knight. It threatens to get the bishop and double white's pawns, but it is such a strong knight, and the bishop doesn't really have anywhere to go. So Stockfish just allows this. Rook to e1. Knight takes d3, c takes d3, and keep in mind that we now have a minor piece in balance. Black possesses the two bishops and Alpha Zero looks at the position and it realizes that the bishops would be very strong on b7 and d6 up these diagonals if the pawns on e5 and c6 were not in the way. h2 and g2 are also weak points in white's position. So with that in mind, castles allowing the e5 pawn to drop, knight takes e5 and c5. Knight c3, bishop b7, and you can see the point of alpha zero's play here. Strong bishop on b7, and there is no e5 pawn in the way of this bishop anymore. Only a knight, which obviously, you know, is not a permanent blockader. b3, rook to e8, knight c4. So now black trades off its worst piece, knight on a5, with knight takes c4. And here, rook takes e8 check, queen takes e8. B takes c4, and I have to say that d takes c4 feels more natural to me because it unravels white's pawn structure. But anyway, b takes c4 was played. Now just queen e6. Black is down two pawns here, but it's just about these weak points on g2 and h2. White doesn't have any pieces on the king side to defend these points. Except maybe the queen, but a queen on f1 is not exactly an exciting piece to have. Bishop b2, rook to b8, knight to b5, queen to g6. First big threat of mate. Queen f1, not an inspiring position for the queen. Bishop f4, black doesn't care about the a7 pawn. Knight takes a7, h6, bishop c3. And now queen h5, targeting h2. We have another new mate threat. h3. And now, well, the position is actually pretty much winning for black after rook to a8. And, well, here if knight to b5, believe it or not, this wasn't played. Black is actually winning, but it has to play precisely. Um... Immediately rook a6, planning rook g6 and rook takes g2 is actually inaccurate because of queen to d1. And this would trade off queens or try and trade off queens and thus nullify black's attack somewhat. So after knight to b5, bishop f3 is probably the move that alpha 0 was going to play. And this prevents queen to d1, and now black is threatening rook a6 and rook to g6. And, well, if pawn takes bishop, 
rook a6 still, and black is just this rook g6 move is so powerful, especially now that the g-file has been opened. King h1, rook to g6, and now queen takes f3 is a threat that cannot really be stopped. Queen g2 would have to be played, but then black would win the queen. So after rook to a8, Stockfish played queen to d1, trading queens, but of course black just wins a piece. And, well, now black has a winning position. And I don't think the rest of the moods deserve any attention or annotations here. Alpha Zero just won the ending. Let's just quickly go through these. Yeah, here Stockfish resigned. Okay, so in the future, if you get two bishops, really strive to open long diagonals for them, especially at the cost of a pawn. Like, losing a pawn for a really strong bishop, it's worth it. Okay, thank you very much for watching.